Hi, I'm Armin Abram. I'm a periodontist in uh, Washington, D.C. I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Brian Lawrence. Uh, we chose to make a short video today and talk about uh, different dental implants that are available in today's market, more specifically traditional uh, titanium implants versus the newly available uh, zirconium implants. So Dr. Lawrence, if you may want to start with talking about uh, traditional metal implants and what different components are uh, involved, that would be great. So the first question is, what is a dental implant? So at the, at the simplest level, a dental implant is a surgical appliance that's placed into the patient's jaw, either the upper or lower jaw, and once it heals and integrates into the bone, acts as a replacement for the tooth boot for the tooth that's missing. Now, when people say they term dental implant, it actually means it actually consists of three components. It's not one component. There's the actual implant itself, which is a surgical piece that goes into the bone. But then on top of that, you have what is called the abutment. And that is essentially the substructure that goes under the crown. So first part you have is the actual implant itself puts into the bone that heals. Then we put the abutment in, we screw that in, and then we have the crown, which is usually made of porcelain, and most people are familiar with the crown, or cap as it's commonly known, and that goes right on top. So essentially, the implant itself actually consists of three parts. The implant, the abutment, and the crown. Now, traditionally, implants are titanium, but Dr. Abel and I, we've been working together for 10 plus years now, we also offer the non-traditional, the zirconium implants. And the advantage of these implants is that you have all the advantage of traditional titanium, but for patients that don't want metal in their body or are allergic to metal, you have the option now to get an implant that has no metal in it, the, the abutment, the implant itself, the abutment, the crown, and the screw itself are all either carbon fiber or ceramic. And an additional benefit of these, in addition to the aesthetic advantages that Studies have shown that the inflammatory response or the level of inflammation around where the implants heal is actually much less for the ceramic implants. So there's not only aesthetic advantage, but there are clinical advantages too. So we just want to let patients know that they have options. You don't have to always go with the traditional titanium implants that you hear about. You have options for aesthetic or implants that are just as healthy in the titanium or in the zirconium or ceramic implants. So I hope with this short video you have been able to have a good overview of what different dental implants are available today and hopefully when it's time, if you have to make a choice what to choose, you have a better overview of uh, your selection. Thank, Thank you very much.